everybody, it's Dave Becker here. I'm trying to work out a few kinks in my system here. I'm getting back to my home studio and um, I've got another computer. I'm just wondering if this is all going to work. And so for tomorrow's demonstration or a paint along, I want to make sure everything's working okay. But in the meantime, I also want to um, give you a little tip on how to use a ruling pen. Last week in my newsletter, I had a couple of paintings, or not in my newsletter, I had a thing about a ruling pen. So I'm going to show you how to use a ruling pen. A ruling pen is this thing right here. It's a little um, pen that makes lines. And also you can put masking fluid on there. So I'm going to give you a little idea of how to use this. But I'm just going to show you first off um, what we're going to be painting tomorrow for our paint along. So here's what we're going to be doing for our paint along tomorrow. That's Thursday at 6.30 Central Standard Time here on YouTube on my Becker Art channel. We're going to be painting this scene. And so it's a, it's a paint along for this July 16th. Again, at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And there is no going to be no um, ruling pen to be used in this, unless you want to try it. Um, a ruling pen, I just want to show you, because a couple of people have asked me. So let's get right to it, and I'll just show you a real fast tip on how to use this ruling pen. So a ruling pen, again, hold on, let me put my glove on. I got to do that, I want to put my glove on. I get real close to it. So a ruling pen, if you look real close, it's a um, it's a little mechanism like this that has a little bit of a turn thing on it. You can turn it to make the width of the, the width of the line. And what it is, it's used. I think architects used to use it for making lines, but uh, us watercolorists can use it for making lines in watercolor or masking fluid. I'm going to show you how to do both. And so what you're going to do. Is, um, you can do it with masking fluid or paint. And so what I'm going to do is you got to have a ruler, a brush, and what you do is you take this. I have it already set up because you turn this thing right here for how to make it thicker or thinner. You, know, you can make it thicker or thinner. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to be putting it into. Well, I'm going to you just use black just to show you, but you can use any color. And you use enough water, and you just put a bunch of water on on a paint. I'm just again using peach black. And then what you do is you take, and there's an opening on the inside there. I'm not sure if you can see that real close. See how it's like it's spread apart. And so what you do is you just take your brush across the t edge of it, and then you load it up. You kind of load it up with this black, and it it's kind of stays inside. Gravity just kind of makes it stick together and forces it to stay right inside the little view. Just a regular ruler you can use. If your ruler doesn't have like this little uh, metal edge on it, then you may want to use um, and put some tape on the bottom so it lifts up from the paper a little bit. You don't want it to be right against the edge of the um, paper and the ruler because then it'll get underneath the ruler. So either get one with a metal edge or take um, and put some tape on the bottom. Just run a couple of things of tape on the bottom. So to do um, a line, you, you kind of put this side that doesn't have the little turny thing on it. This is the little turny thing that makes it close and open. And what I do is I just turn on the ruler. And now there's, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like really close. You can see there's there's a little bit of paint right inside there. It's not going to focus in, is it? But what you're going to do is you're just going to take it, make your line, and then just basically draw the line. And don't go over with your <laughs> ruler like that. But see how it makes a nice straight line? Here we can do it again. Again, use the side that's against um, the ruler you want to use with the side that doesn't have the little turny thing on it. So just go like this, put it down there, and it's great for making lines of white or black, like on a sailboat or any kind of line. Actually, you can also write with this. See, you can actually write, it's kind of like a pen. It's called a ruling pen. So you can write with it. Um, you can also use masking fluid on it too. So I'm gonna rub out my brush. And some people like to use an eyedropper. I don't have an eyedropper. But if you have an eyedropper or a syringe, you can put the you can put the paint or the masking fluid in there too. With the masking fluid, you can just dip it in and dip it into the um, fluid. You don't need to actually you know you just go like this. You dip it right in there. It's going to fill up. Now the edges are going to get all wet, um, so you can actually dry that off or whatever if you'd like. And then what you can do is again side that doesn't have this little knob on it, put that against the ruler, and then make your line. Now it's masking fluid, and I, you can't see that because it is masking fluid because it's light. But let me show you real close up. 
there is a line there. Can you see that little line coming up there? Well, it's a light blue line, but it puts it on there really thin. So that's how you can make your really, really thin lines with masking fluid. And um, good way of um, applying masking fluid too, you can actually do small little things. Again, dip, and then you can just write. You can write your name with it. You write this, see, and you can just write. And again, if you had like um, fluid acrylic um, or ink acrylic, you can just dip it in also. Or again, one more review is that you can just take the paint, any color. I guess let's take red this time so you can see. I'm just going to take it, whoosh it around in there with a lot of water. Put it like this. See, it just fills it in. Take your ruler, put it down. Side that doesn't have the little knob on it, put it against the ruler, and then just draw. And of course I made a big mess there because it was all wet and going fast. But you wouldn't do that because you're gonna be going slow and you just do your line and you have a nice ruler. But just a little tip and uh, come back tomorrow and I'll show you again how to paint the paint along of that painting I just showed you before. Let me show you one more time what we're painting tomorrow at 6.30 Central Standard Time uh, here at my um, Becker Art, uh, what, is it, what do you call it, our YouTube channel. <laughs> So this is what we're painting. This is what we're painting um, tomorrow, 6.30. Have it drawn up and you can paint along or just watch it afterwards and just watch me paint it. And I will be doing it with a little more color than you see here in this image. But um, it should be fun. And thanks for watching this little tip. A little tip might be for you guys just to see how to use a ruling pen. Because I know a lot of you want to know how I get some of those really thin lines. That's how I do it with a ruling pen and with masking fluid. All right, so I see you tomorrow, guys. See you at 6.30. See you later, guys.